Let's take a look at question number nine from practice one involving percentage increase and decrease. The question says, last season, Kevon completed 64 tackles. This season, he completed 36 more tackles. What is the percent increase in tackles? <clears throat> so anytime we approach word problems, we're always looking for our what? Our trigger. All right, so what is the trigger? The trigger is percent increase. All right, that's gonna let me know what my process is and how I'm going to do what? Keep it super simple. So go ahead and create your fraction, subtraction sign up top. All right, so let's look at context. We gotta make sure we understand what's going on and what our values represent. So it says last season, Kevon completed 64 tackles. So this was last year. All right, it says this season, he completed 36 more tackles. So if he completed 36 more, that means that we have to do what? We need to figure out what does more represent because when we do percentage increase or decrease, what do we always need? We always need to know what the star is and we always need to know what the end is. All right, so we know last year was 64, this year was 36 more. So of course that means we need to do what? So sub skill, make sure you guys know your keywords for all of your operations. So if we do 64, plus 36, that's gonna give us 100. All right, so that means that this season, he completed how many tackles? 100. So 100 is the value that we're going to be working with. All right, so we have 100 and we have 64. So of course, we always put our largest value first. All right, and then we always divide by the original value. So remember two different ways you guys can approach it. Since this is percent increase, increase means we're going from where? A low point to a what? High point, which means the smallest value is our starting point. All right, if we look at it in the context of time, it says last season, he completed 64 tackles. This season, he completed 36 more. So last season is essentially what? Last year, this is what occurred the first. This season, which is this year, this occurred what? Second. I don't know why I wrote the word and then the number that time. I'm not sure. So you can approach it either way. I um, just want to make sure you understand how to look at it from a time perspective just in case they ask for the percent change. Just always make sure you understand what's going on in your question. All right, and then from here, we're going to simplify. So if we say 100 minus 64, that's going to give us 36 over 60. It's going to give us 36 over 64. And what's going on with this question? Just like the last question we just reviewed, this 36 looks very what? Familiar. Because this represents the what? The change. So if you're in a space and you're comfortable, like super comfortable, you have a good foundation, and you can start looking at these questions and recognizing the change, you can bypass the subtraction. Now, if you're not and you're just really good with just finding your two values, subtracting and divide, and stick with that. But remember what I told you guys. When we subtract here, this subtraction is representing a change. All right? And I told you exactly what the change was. This year, he completed 36 more compared to last year. That was the change. It was 36 more than last year. All right, and then from here, we go from a fraction to a percentage. So we convert that to a decimal first. So if we say 36 divided by 64, that's gonna give us 0.5625. All right, and if we convert that to a percentage, that's gonna give me 56.25%. But for this question, I want you guys to round to the nearest percent. All right, round to the nearest percent is the same as rounding to the nearest whole number or to the nearest one. All right, so because six is in the ones place, that means we assess the two. And this is a sub scale. If you're still struggling with that, make sure you guys go back and check out the review video in cluster one. All right, this means the six is going to stay the same. So it's going to be roughly 56%. So if we take a look at this question again from the top, it says last season, Kevon completed 64 tackles. This season, he completed 36 more tackles. What is the percent increase in tackles? Round to the nearest percent. So what is your trigger? Percent increase. That lets me know how I'm going to set up my question. I'm going to subtract two values and divide by whatever is the original value. All right, what are my two values? What are they describing? Well, my first value is describing 64 tackles that occurred last season. 
Our second value, which is 36, is describing how many more tackles he got this season. So when you're looking at your values, you always want to ask yourself, is one representing the start and is one representing the end? Well, I know last season, the 64 is representing what? The start. This season, he completed 36 more. So I don't know what the end is. I have to go ahead and do what? I need to calculate that. And the more lets me know, well, I need to add this 36 to our starting point, which was the 64. And that's how we got the 100. All right, and then from there, I subtracted my two values, simplify, and we noted what? Once we simplify, back in that same boat with the 36, why? Because 36 represents the what? The change. And the reason why we subtract is because we're looking for the change. So if you're super comfortable with these questions and you can decipher the change versus the start and the end point, then you can just set up your fraction and convert to a percentage. If not, it's okay. Stick with your start and the end and simplify all the way down and you will be good to go. All right, and of course, once we're here from fraction form, we need to go from fraction to percent because the question calls for the percent increase. So we convert to a decimal first, keep it super simple, and then from decimal to a percentage. And if you're still struggling with that, make sure you guys go back and check out the review videos and example questions and practice questions from plus to one. All right, and we ended up with 56.25%, but another sub skill rounding, round to your nearest percent, and we got roughly 56%.